I don't know why I'm typing things. Uh, I have a voice. I don't have to type. So yeah, give me a minute. I forgot the music. So I'm the, I'm a new at this. There, can y'all hear the music now? And we're going to try to do some building this today. So this may be a little bit of boring. Try not to grind. I grinded a lot last night. So we'll see what we can get going on here. Is it too loud? Or is the music at a decent level? So, can you hear the villagers? <laughs> I forgot to change stations here. Let's see. Yeah, all you hear is villagers because I'm right in the village and then I go to change my screen to show the gameplay. And I forgot how to do that because I didn't pull that part up. So this should be fun as we watch me fail all this stuff here. Oh, yeah. I need to turn the fan off. Good point. Give me one second to figure out where I'm at. Can you tell I use this all the time? Oh, that's why I didn't pull up. I didn't pull up. Uh, I had to pull it up. Anyway, I'm, uh, where's it at? Oh, OBS, okay. I need that on a different screen. Then we can play. <laughs> Thanks, Norman. Yeah, let me turn off the fan so you don't have to listen to that thing. Hold on one second. That fan noise may be the darn game. It may be raining where it's at here. Look at that. There we go. Now we're now we're cooking with gas. Let me move this dude here. Pretty sure we have to go to bed because uh, there the fan noise. Don't know. I'm sure it's raining. This is the middle of a desert, right on the edge of a desert in another environment. So the rain is really odd because you can literally watch it rain one block over. So this is the, yeah, Ace hasn't seen this. This is where all the villagers hang out. We're in a hole. So I got, uh, was it some kind of, the toolsmith guy, the guy that makes really crappy armor. And we got masons. Uh, masons are the quickest way to get quartz blocks, if you didn't know. Uh, I needed wool, so I tried to get wool guys, and they didn't work, so I have a sheep farm now. Uh, and then there's some lecterns for uh, the librarians, and then 
one guy to uh, do the fun stuff of ripping all the enchantments off of stuff. So we'll give you a quick run over here. The village breeder's actually on the other side of that wall. Let me, uh, do I get a cart? I got a cart. But I don't have any rails. Let me get some rails. I'll show you the village breeder. It's just a logical geek boy uh, setup, so it's pretty simple. And I will try to pay attention to chat, but since uh, I'm really not good at this game yet, we'll get it over. We'll get it figured out. Oh, the top of the base is really horrible because all I've done is work down here. And this is what we're going to work on today. So uh, the shaders I use make these uh, quartz slabs look freaking cool with the lights. So we're going to get rid of all that junk today, get more quartz slabs in, installed. And let me show you the breeder. The breeder is pretty much done, so it's a, it's a done deal. So there's nothing left to do on the breeder, except it doesn't work as quite as well as I'd like it to work. Then we're going to add more more lanterns in here. We can get the lanterns from the librarians. And this is the hole in the wall to get over to the breeder. Big desert. And if you'll, you might be able to see it. Uh, it's just outside render distance. But there's an iron farm over there. Then I caught that dude hanging out so we've broke his crossbow so at some point he'll be fun to put somewhere oh his face is gone where's his face oh there it is he's looking in a weird direction and then i had escaped villagers because i broke some stuff and then they're sitting in uh boats waiting to be relocated except that green guy he'll probably stay here and do nothing And since I don't AFK here much, they're just going to hang out. They just end up hanging out. And then at some point I have to come back over here and hang out to uh, get me more more breeders. Hey, Ominous, welcome in. If I could figure the shout-out command out, we would do some shout-outs. But uh, I've spent the last hour with Narmom trying to figure it out. And it's broke, and I can't figure out how I broke it. So... Then we go back on the inside here. So I kind of like the roller coaster effect. It's just more fun than riding horses. So. And then this part of the emerald production is uh, the pumpkins and the uh, watermelons. Then here's the top. At some point, this is going to have a bunch of stuff up here, so it won't be open to the sky. And once we get this part done today, we'll probably start building on uh, this. But the sheep farm's over here. This is another, um, I think, logical geek boy. Came up. I can't remember who came up with this one. I stole it straight off the straight off line. So it may have been Waffles or Pixel Riff that uh, I looked at their their videos and got it. So I needed a bunch of white wool. And then uh, I'm not very smart on planning, so I put it, literally put it where I want the door for uh, my up, upstairs structure. <laughs> yes. Yes, roller coasters are more fun than horses because I can just sit back and point at things, whereas the horses, I have to aim them in the right direction. But I have two horses here. I have two more horses at my other base because uh, I, I kept misplacing them and had to grab more horses. So I have entirely too many horses. And then that was a furnace that I used, and I need to tear it apart at some point. So we'll get busy doing the grindy, grindy part. Hunt, welcome to welcome to here. Yeah, and this is just base building today. So if you want to get a, a bigger, better tour, there's not a whole lot on this world that uh, to show. Because it's pretty much building. Uh, the server that this is on is Demar06. He may show up today. He may not. He's He's got life issues going on where he gets to play and do other things besides uh, do Minecraft. Which, you know, what the heck? How is life better than Minecraft? But And he wants to reboot the server a week after uh, 117 drops. So I kind of want to get a lot of this just try to get the structure done so I can take a picture of it and have it for reference later. Go, look, look at the cool thing I did. Hmm. 
Are you good at stream elements, Hunt? I know you're good at Minecraft itself, but are you good at the uh, the streaming version of stuff? And actually, Ace might be able to uh, explain. We we broke the command. Uh, the template for doing shoutouts on stream elements is broken. We can't make the the default template work. So, any ideas on how to make that work, or do you not? Uh, I don't know, Ace. Do you even use stream elements? Yes, it is a hunt with a garden. Except I don't have a garden here. Yeah, the gardener's at work still, uh, Hunt. He'll be in, He, if, if we're lucky, he'll join us here right towards the end of the stream, if I end up streaming that long. It's the shout-out command. There's a template shout-out on stream elements that's just different enough from Nightbot and Streamlabs that, because uh, Normom uses, I think, uh, Streamlabs, and Matt Ranger uses uh, the other one. So maybe Nightbot or... or Anyway, the people that I asked, they don't use Streamlabs, and the commands are just different enough that uh, the defaults are, it's hard to figure out what works and what's not working. But the default isn't working, so. Yeah, and I'm using OBS uh, Ace, but uh, the OBS Live is through Stream Elements. They've got a download to add to the, to, it just pops right on top of OBS. So I tried to be easy, and it looks like easy is not necessarily the best way to go. Yeah, the Tauser command didn't seem to work for uh, stream elements. It's in there as one of the commands it uses, but it didn't seem to work. We tried that one, and then we tried it. It seems to break when you try to add the Twitch channel. So it gives the, the three little asterisks like you got at the end of yours. Oh, well, it was worth a shot. I'll play with it after I get done this today. I'm trying to get the get a rush build going on. So, Hunt and Armwam, I'm not sure if you've ever uh, heard of the Force Streamers or Force Reamers. I'm not sure how it's actually pronounced, but Ace is one of those guys. And so he streams occasionally. I got to watch his stream yesterday, so it was pretty fun. He created some really cool minecart. I don't know what you call it, uh, but anyway, you get in the minecart and you haul butt from one end of the nether to the other, and it's like super stupid fast. I've never seen a minecart run that fast. Oh, and when I look up like this, I have trifugglies on, and then I put the stupid chat, so I have to tilt my head completely back and break my neck, so you'll be able to look up my nose if you zoom in close enough. I swear I, I trimmed all the all the nose here so it's not as horrible as it could be. Oh, I'm going to give you full credit because I've watched you do it and I didn't watch Piston Bolt do anything. So, And I get a bed somewhere. There he is. Yeah, and the bad part about building where I built is the sun goes down here before it goes down anywhere else. So it seems dark as heck, and then all of a sudden, I can't, but I can't sleep yet. Uh, I do have links disabled just because I'm clueless, but uh, I can probably open it up. But that would require me to actually know what I'm doing, so... 
Did you need to send a link? Oh, so Ultra is tuning in from work. And I really need to make the chat bigger so I can actually read it. So give me one second so I can figure out how to make this larger so I can actually see it. Oh, how do you heck? Oh, that's a good point. I do have, yeah, with links disabled, it may not work. Okay. Ah, uh, good point. Uh, I'll try that after stream because it will take me forever. Ooh, see how pretty and dark it is here? I should be getting dead soon. Okay. Thanks, Hunt. That was uh, actually a good catch. I didn't even think about the fact that I disabled links. Son of a bitch. Okay, I wasn't supposed to fall on that right there and delete my carrot. I probably should have put the mature rating on this sucker because I do have a habit of uh, throwing out uh, f bombs and s bitches and all that good stuff. So bear with me. So if you are easily offended, you might want to go ahead and run away. Yes, hunt with the garden is here, Ultra. But I'll try to keep the language as clean as possible. Go ahead and clean up the trash down here. And, oh, I thought I saw that red torch freaked me out with the red light. I thought I had an Enderman still in my stuff. So yeah, these chests are full of junk. Uh, I don't have a good chest sorting system, which is probably bad for me. Good for everybody else because they can make fun of the fact that I don't have one either. And I still need to fix the uh, floor here, but that's going through the masons and with uh, emeralds to uh, buy more of that type of uh, rock. I really like masons. They make uh, easier to get cool stuff. And with the 16 different types of wool, the uh, silly sheep herder guys are a pain to try to get the type of wool you want because they never give it to you. So you end up having like, I don't know, 20 or 30 sheep herders getting, trying to get the one wool color you want, where it's just easier to set up the, uh, the wool farm. That's Ultra's uh, sorting system is Narmom. Now, if Nogri was here, he would say his sorting system was Westy, because I think she likes to do it from what I understand. She organized um, Blue Jay Games. He they, they play on his Patreon server. And she went went to town on Blue Jay sorter, or storage system, and organized the heck out of it. It took her like two streams to do it, because he's got a ton of junk.
I don't know what RNG is, Ace. You young guys got your own language. So anyway, this white quartz, and towards the end of the stream, I like to play with the shaders I have installed, because some of them are really crazy looking, and I'm not sure what it'll look like with the quartz. But if you get bored and you need to leave, let me know, give me a couple of minutes notice, and we'll throw shaders on and do other shaders, because some of the shaders I found are, I think are excessively cool. They just change like the whole block into something different, like glass will be some random not random but uh destructive looking stuff it looks like it's uh, destroyed and some of it has panes glass panes in it and not just glass oh random number generator uh yeah i don't uh i don't think i have any games set up on this i think i, I did because stream elements has uh, games that are in part of the uh the software itself and i turned all that off because it's distracting for me Although it'd probably be more fun for y'all to do that than listen to me ramble on about how cool quartz blocks are. Oh. And we may bring some more villagers over here. Uh, the intent was to put all the stupid... Uh, Librarians on this level after I fix the floor. But that may be further down the road. Uh, the shaders I got currently are... Let me look real quick because I can't remember which ones I have on. I change the shaders on a regular basis. So current shaders are the complementary shaders. And then um, I'm probably using their default uh, resource pack. Yeah, so I got vanilla tweaks on top of complementary shaders. But the vanilla tweak stuff is pretty... I'm not sure what I even have in the Vanilla Tweaks ones right now. But then the shaders that I've got that are actually pretty fun is this BOS Core. Uh, the Clarity is pretty pretty decent. The Dark Renaissance is that wacko one that is just recently changes every block to look something different. It's pretty, I, I think it's phenomenal. I can't play with it because it's so different than what everything else. And the Devorian uh, Steampunk says it's incompatible, made for an older version, but it works pretty decent. But they've only got about half of the... Uh, Half the texture's done, so it's not. It'll never get updated, I don't think. But these are the complementary shaders, and they I really like them better than just the regular BSL shaders. Uh, I think they do more. And then, like I said on my laptop last week when I, we were talking about this, my laptop cannot run shaders at all. It's just everything gets so lagged out that I literally can't do any, well, I can do stuff, but it's so skippy and jumpy that it, it's not any fun to play. So when I play my laptop, it's just vanilla, just basic vanilla Minecraft. And where I'm living at now, the air conditioner doesn't seem to like the room that I have my computer in. And then you add the computer to the laptop. I have another TV set in here and it just, I don't know, it's probably six or seven degrees higher hotter than the rest of the house so when i'm not streaming i take the laptop in the front room and i can uh, actually enjoy some air conditioning oh. and we should have enough of this to finish this at least this floor out and then we'll work on the walls downstairs Yeah, and I'm moving at the beginning of next month, and then the house I'm buying, it has a basement, which I think I can end up putting, making a room down there, the computer -y room, because basements seem to be, seem to run cooler just because they're underground. So it's little, that's that's the hope. So I don't want to have to do put like a split level or a split unit in the basement itself. That gets pricey when you have like two different two different zones for air conditioning. Although it would make the room a lot quieter, because then I could uh, get rid of the ductwork. But Ultra, isn't your computer room in the basement? 
Well, thanks for coming in, Ace. Uh, I may be here a while, so feel free to stop back in later. I learned how to link my YouTube channel, which has exactly zero videos on it. I find that more amusing than anything. Oh, so where's your, is your streamer room upstairs then? With all the cool flashy lights? Or disco light, whatever you call it. I had to go mining yesterday because I didn't I ran out of diamonds. And I forgot to make an enchantment table. And it took me, I want to say it's 30 or 45 minutes just to get the two diamonds I needed just for the enchantment table. Ah. Yeah, the house I was able to buy is a two-story house with a basement, so technically three stories. But all the bedrooms are on the top floor, and then there's the basement itself with... They say it's a bedroom, but um, I'm not convinced that... Uh, oh, son of a... That it can meets the, the actual requirements of basement or of, for a bedroom. It's got the the window, the egress window, but they say it's a closet that's in there too, but I don't really see the closet part of it. All right, have fun, Ultra. Yeah, now i got to fix the carrot again that I broke. Ooh. It's yawn time. It's yawn o'clock. Yeah. Um, there it is. So, oh, you son of a gun. Okay, now we got to race. Oh, he went to bed. There we go. That was probably got good either. Where are my... Okay, I have stuff somewhere. I don't know where it is. Oh, I guess we just put the bed back in the other room. Then he'll go to it. Come here. Come here, dude. Come sleep. Where'd he go? There he is. Get in here. Yeah, this guy escapes all the time, but I think it's because I use his area more than anybody else's. I constantly have to chase him. He likes to run out the door. There, now go to work. The dogs decided I should get up early again this morning, just like normal. And then they wanted to go for, I think we've done two walks this morning already. And the beagle will probably show up here in about a half hour to demand we go walking again. He did come in earlier to let me know the miniature pincher kicked him out of the bed they share. Which means she walked onto the edge of it and looked at him and he ran away. Did I break? I don't remember breaking the bed. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah, it's going to get dark in here. I probably ought to add some more light before I mess this all up completely. These will just fall down and we'll have to come pick them up. Yep. And it took me forever to figure out what, how I broke this, but I broke this like several times. That's the, the mine cart to go get the wool. I never built a wool farm, so when I watched the videos, it was utterly, I don't know, one of those deals of like, what did you do? Why do I have to watch this seven times? Because I can't figure it out the first time. Son of a gun. So at some point, I probably ought to stop jumping down the hole. Yeah. And Stream Beats uh, has the Weatherman song, and it kind of find it amusing every time it comes on. I want to sing, but uh, I don't think the microphone I'm using would be very much fun for you all to listen to me mumble words repeatedly. So speaking of... How is the microphone quality on this? Oh, Tupi, you made it in. Hey, buddy. Uh, if I could figure out how to make the uh, shout-out command work, I would uh, flip you a shout. But uh, I broke it, and I think Hunt helped me fix it or figure out what the problem was. But I started my stream when he when he said it. So your mod is hilarious. Oh, I posted that thinking, yeah, Tupi, Tupi will just give me crap. And then your mod's like, yeah, I got this. Yeah, so those of you all that haven't met Tupi, I'm pretty sure everybody that's left in the stream knows who you are. Your streams are crazy enjoyable. Yeah, Croc is great. That was that was a an awesome comeback. Yeah. Eat the trolley, pretty much. But someday, someday, uh, I'm working day shifts right now. My job is actually rotating shifts, but I'm in training. So when I get on rotating shifts, I'll be able to watch a lot more of your streams. Because they're kind of a blast. Yep. Yeah, Hunt's here somewhere. Um, two hours? Uh, yeah, you're still in the UK and I'm still over here in the United States. So it's still going to be kind of kind of different. But like I said, my schedule, when it finally changes to the normal abnormal that I usually work, then uh, I'll be able to catch a lot more different streams. Um, I know when Picklebuzz changed his times, it kind of screwed me up because I could get, I could watch the end of his streams when I got off shift. And when I was going on shift, I could watch the beginning of his streams. But then he moved it to the middle of the day or the end, the end of the day, I think, for UK. Middle of the day? I can't remember now. But anyway, it makes it almost impossible to watch Picklebuzz. Lindinger and uh, Phantom Fluffy are pretty much what I watch in the morning now because they, they stream in the morning when I get up, either getting up to get ready to go to work or when I'm coming home from work. Yep. And I play on a... F on a guy's server that streams and when I men mentioned I would uh, start my streams early in the morning he's like why nobody watches that early and I'm like dude the UK is up they're up and about it's their afternoon time but I don't think he has anybody from across the river or across the big pond there to actually watch his videos or his streams okay thanks Toopy see you later hey there's Dimar how are you buddy Yeah, this is DMAR server we're on here. So DMAR, these are probably a bunch of names you've never seen. So Tupi is streams. He's a UK streamer. He streams mostly in the weekdays. Hunt is a super smart dude. Wicked smart for Minecrafty stuff. 
that hangs out in uh, a lot of the streams I hang out with, and it's like, okay, you can ask hundreds of questions and about Minecraft, and he'll probably get 99.99% uh, of them correct. Oh, did you get your second shot? So is it going to knock you out like everybody else got knocked out? All the people I work with that got their second shot ended up taking two days off because it just put them under. But I work with people my age or of a similar age, so you may be good to go. And it seemed to, to affect the dudes worse than the ladies. The ladies were like, yeah, I'm back. I don't know what's up with you guys, but I'm here. But again, work also gave us time off if you got sick after the shot. So some of those guys may have just been uh, having eye problems. They couldn't see themselves coming to work. Hey, country, how are you? So, Demar is sort of new to our community, but he's been streaming a long time. Uh, I found him by accident. I was raided with a, another guy that raided into him, and it was just a fun stream to hang out in. Um, so, he's he just joined the um, Bird Pyre Discord. So, country, you'll see him there occasionally. He's not a big Discord guy, so he may or may not chat too much, but he just joined it this morning. So Country is one of the streamers on the Bird Pyre, and he streams a lot of other games too. The um, reason I'm, I'm, I mention all this Country is because I broke the shout-out command, so I can't shout you out. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Country played Jurassic World, I think it was, a while back, and I had fun watching him because he's, he's entertaining just to listen to. I had no idea what the game was going on. Had completely clueless. But I think he plays Bedrock. I don't think he has a Java because I believe he uses a console. But the Bird Pyre actually has two servers. They've got a Java server and a Bedrock server. That uh, if you had, if you took the opportunity to read their rules. Yeah, welcome to all the crazy, DMR. Yeah, we're a little bit odd, but uh, it's all good. We have a friend named Toad that is of a similar age to you. He's G he's Narmom and Ultras buddy, and he plays uh, Minecraft, but I haven't seen him play in a while. But he just got back on Discord. I think he had a busy busy or busy school school year. And he he did stream occasionally, just pretty much like you were doing, just in the. Uh, the time when he was able to versus having to deal with the school issues. Oh, you son of a... Okay. We got to find my fence post so I can wrang wrangle this guy into a spot. I don't know where I put my fence posts. The good thing is they can't climb ladders, so he can't actually escape. Let me go open his door up again. Yeah, that's the best part about making a village trading hall in the underground is they can't they can only go so far they are definitely my emerald producers though they started me out all i have five five farmers so that guy in there gets fed all the carrots but they're the fastest way to start getting emeralds and then after that you just uh take their emeralds and fix them Feed them to all the other people so you can get the, the tools and items you need. Oh, I did have it on me. Darn it. Yeah. But if you want building tips, uh, you can watch. Country's a pretty 
pretty crazy builder. Uh, Ultra actually uses a lot more blocks and a lot different patterns than most most people I've noticed. But they blend really well. Country has a lot of different styles he's working on, so he's gets he's really good at the styles he knows really well. And then he he actually practices on new styles whenever he builds new stuff. He's got a lot bigger repertoire on building than I do. Uh, although I was trying to get this one so I could do something really cool and big, but uh, I don't know if I have enough time to share with all the stuff. Because this is the, probably the biggest building I've ever built. It's a 40 by 40 square block. Uh, was it nighttime? It must have been nighttime because he was running to bed. Oh, I didn't see you uh, type in there. You're more than welcome to come over and help Demar if you want. All we're doing is poking holes in the roof and adding uh, quartz slabs. Bang! You are going to need some of these. Do you got wings on? Or is that just your back? Oh, was that my very muscular back? That's funny. Yeah. Oh, was that your house on the bird pyre that you posted a picture of? I didn't know it was on the bird pyre. I thought it was on your own. Narmom. Sorry, I should have said, hey, I'm talking to you, lady. Yeah. Dang, he's quicker than this than me. So this may take a lot less time than it should because uh, somebody's a Minecraft block killer. Ah, uh, see, I didn't know you were playing on the bird pyre. Has Ultra even started playing on it yet? Or is he just trying to get a bunch of stuff done on these other, other on all the other servers he's on? Has he built anything? Because I know he was finishing the boat for on Matt server yesterday. I got to watch the majority of that before I got too tired and went to bed. The funny part about uh, going to sleep and leaving Twitch stream running muted on the tab is I woke up this morning to um, some random dude I've never watched before, and he was actually pretty fun to watch. Or he was more fun to listen to than so much watch. Very amusing guy. Uh, now I can't remember his name now. Which probably makes it worse. The best part is I followed him. I don't have many Australians that I follow. So that time zone is pretty dead for me for people to watch. The UK guys that sound like Australians to me are the ones I watch a lot of. But then again, anybody from the UK sounds like they're Australian to me. Those th those two accents are killer. So if Toopy's still here, he's probably like eye rolling and laughing at me. The Danish guys are pretty easy to tell because they got that weird little phrase or that weird little taint in their accent. <laughs> Oops. Now comes the fun part. Uh, so the white wool that I make with the wool farm over here is for the walls downstairs. Um, I'm going to start chipping away at that. And then this will pretty much be done. Then all I have to do is go and get, uh, finish that floor right over there, which is just buying blocks with emeralds. And then putting all the junk in chests and trying to sort all the crud. Let's see. 
Wrong chest. Yeah. If you need emeralds, uh, go ahead and grab some iron out of that chest. And go hit those guys over there and you can get some emeralds. If you want to do some emerald training. Thanks, Dimar. It probably doesn't help that English is their second and third languages for the Danish guys when they finally pick up. Oh, where'd that come from? Oh, must have dropped it from here. Yep. So let's grab some. What do I got? We need masons. Just need to finish that little section over there, and then the floor will be done in here. I don't hardly ever come in this corner, so I forgot I hadn't actually accomplished that. Right there. Dude, boom. Floor's done. Yeah, so where it's fun to make fun of the Danish people that I watch on stream, literally they're smarter than me. They've got way more ability to read lang or do languages than I do. So, what do I got? That, okay. So... Time for the wool. Now I did a, I have a little creative world that I have my own, but I only do half projects over there just enough to see what they look like. So we started doing wool over there, the wool walls. If I could actually do things here. And I think it looked cool, but I've never actually built with wool. So this is kind of a new thing and then you got your diorite down here um, so it's polished diorite wool and then the the uh, polished quartz I think it's called whatever I called it and then the combination looked decent for what I've been trying to do or what I was trying to go yeah wool on all the walls so just go straight up and then there's a ton of wool over here at the wool farm and then there's some more wool over there but uh, and then the next thing after these walls is start building the floor up top and then the, well, probably the walls up top because this is supposed to be a, a fairly large building. Yeah. But I didn't really plan out. I planned out the, the top of it. Uh-oh. What's uh-oh? Did you let somebody get away? <laughs> oh, you broke a... <laughs> somebody broke a pumpkin. <laughs> and I don't think I've done the sh all the all the wacko shaders I've got with wool walls, so I don't know what that even looks like. Oh, dang sand. Oh, where'd you get water at? <laughs> oh, from over there. Okay. <laughs> Let's find some wool to put in that hole. Yeah, I didn't really spawn proof this uh, very well. So, dink. There, water. Water's gone. Yeah. There. Uh oh, 
You still need the hoe? Get out. There you go. Yeah, and then I should be buying, um, doing an emerald purchase because I need lanterns in this whole place because they light up a lot better and they're a lot, a lot cooler looking than torches. So we'll probably start uh, in emerald, emerald buying and bartering here in a second to make sure I keep enough. Uh, Lanterns. <laughs> Dig make, yeah. That wouldn't be a bad a bad choice of words. Oh, close. So let's get rid of some of this junk, and I'll grab some emeralds, and then we'll go and. Get more lanterns because we're going to need those here soon. So the cool thing about the iron farm is I have an excessive amount of iron. And there's probably still a chest of it over there that I haven't converted into iron blocks. And since DMAR is going to work on the walls, I'll grab iron and get the lanterns going and see if we get this thing set up right. Now, these guys are loud, so if you've got headphones on, you might want to tune it out just a second. There's probably a setting for turning down uh, friendly mobs. Let's see. Wrong one. Wrong one. Options. Sound. Hostile. Friendly. Let's turn it down just a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, that... Hmm. Uh, I can't remember what I was watching. I think it was... Um, one of the Hermitcraft guys had used a data pack or a, some kind of resource pack or something to make the villagers all say hello. And it drove him batshit crazy. I watched one of the videos and he... The guy was complaining. I can't remember if it was a Hermitcraft or it was one of those other SMPs. There we go. Now let's go grab some lanterns. Was it green? It probably was because he was... I only watched, I don't know, I want to say a quarter of the Hermits. Just because there's so many of them, it was hard to keep up. I tried to watch a lot of them, or a large majority, and it just got so overwhelming, it was impossible to keep up. Yeah, and uh, only half of my librarians give lanterns, so. Oh, but that dude down here gives. If I could not uh, push all the buttons incorrectly, he gives emeralds too. Yeah. And his trade was not very good because uh, I really don't use diamond swords. I mean, once you get into the axe area or using the diamond axe, I like it better because it's less stuff in my um, toolbar. So I think I really just wanted him for the, for the, uh, what's that bot or his little tool thing, whatever it is, it rips off enchantment enchantments. So when I get two, too many levels i come over here and just enchant books until i either get a book i like or i go rip off the enchantments of the books that i don't really like let's see where do they go there they are 
So let's put some lanterns in here and figure out how to get the lighting just right for these guys inside their hole. Why are you... Don't you stand there. Darn villagers tried to escape way too much. Let's see. We got one there. That should be... Let's see what the light level looks like here. I need to get that... Uh, that mod that shows you the light levels on the ground because the carrots probably are not going to work over here we may have to bring these down a level which do i have the i do have those okay let's do this get off me annoying villager guy and that should oh and that's that optifine it starts brightening things up when you walk by and it's freaking annoying sometimes Oh, I thought he was going to come backwards. I was trying to trap him. That didn't work. Hey, country. Oh, so you're going to do uh, Minecraft tonight on Bird Pyre itself? Phipps has been on the last couple of days, which was kind of cool because I haven't seen a Phipps stream in a long time. Although, Lark kept killing him. It was like, dude, quit, quit, quit killing Phipps. Then your Isaac World tomorrow night. Cool. Like I said, I don't really understand Jurassic World, so where it's fun to, to listen to you talk and quip and have the other people harass you in chat, it's still like, yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I think it was that one. And, oh, there's holes here. Son of a... Where'd it go? There it is. And I don't think the light levels are good enough back here in this corner. So we may have to put something else over here to make it work. Maybe off that block. I don't know. Anyway. Let's see. Yeah. Let's wool that wall up and see what it looks like. <laughs> Look, there's a DMAR in a hole. <laughs> So, he must win AFK. <laughs> yeah, and the white wool's got its own, it almost seems like it sheds its own light. So he planted in over here. So I don't know if the light level is good enough for the carrots there or not. The light level out here in the sides is pretty decent. But I've got torches on the side still. So let's kill some of these torches on the side and see if this what the lights look like. I really need to download that um, or add that mod that shows you the light levels on the ground. Because where lanterns do better than torches, I'm not sure if I've got the right amount of light here and over here. So, 
I guess as long as they keep putting to or carrots in my hole here, we're good to go. Is he still in the hole? Or did he get out? <laughs> oh, he got out. Oh, he left the sign. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if y'all could read that because uh, I know sometimes when people put signs up, you can't. I can't read them on the other people's servers. It says Demar was here, so we'll just leave that sign right there because it's it's kind of funny. I didn't see him get out of the hole. I'm like, he really left himself in there. So anyway, let's uh, fix the lights in this guy's house and see if it gets, if we're still doing stuff in here. Yeah. Because the reality is, is I don't really need these guys anymore. I've got the iron farm to make my iron for me. And then I've got all those other things over there that are doing the stuff I need. This was a great entryway to get um, emeralds. But now that, I, like I said, now I have the iron farm, I really don't need it anymore. But waste not, want not. I think that's the right hole. Yeah. The Streamlabs is cool, except here in a few minutes, we're going to run out of Streamlabs because they've only got a limited amount of songs. At least in the rock section. Um I know, like Matt Ranger and uh, some of those, some of the other guys, they like chill music, and I'd never heard of chill music till I started watching people stream. And I'm like, this music is pretty lame. So if the music's too loud, let me know. I can turn it down so that y'all don't have to enjoy. You you don't have to be forced to enjoy the music I enjoy. But because I hear it actually pretty decent, so I'm not 100 percent sure if uh, it's too loud and y'all can't hear me. Oh, dude, look at all that coal. We could be trading that with a dude over here to get more emeralds. Let me kill some of these torches. We'll see what the light looks like. See, this poor guy here has his own torches. They're now gone. There, have a, have a lantern. <laughs> Let's see. It goes away. Let's go get this guy set up over here. But it's hard to find the DMCA free music that's actually worth listening to, in my opinion. It's uh, I found on uh, Spotify, which is where I get my stream, the, the, the stream, stream beats, I think it is called. That's where I'm getting it from. But it had a list that said uh, DMCA free. It was horrible horrible because about i don't know i want to say half the songs i heard on the i've heard on the radio and so i'm pretty sure those aren't uh, free so so i guess buyer beware when it's free you're not really buying it so you're getting what you you're getting what you paid for let's see three so three and then three in Boop. i think that's right Oh, did he already finish the walls? Yeah, I need to hire this guy. He's a lot faster than me at this Minecraft stuff. I also have the squirrel issue of, oh, I should go do this now. Oh, this is more fun to do. Let's do that. Which me finishing builds is that. Having to uh, figure out, having to force myself to actually finish instead of starting brand new builds. Sorry, uh, Discord pinged me, and I probably ought to turn it off so I don't watch it anymore. Yep. Boom. Oh, I guess I should hang one here. I think that's the right spot. And if these guys keep producing carrots, then uh, we have the appropriate amount of light in here. 
the heck was that? Okay, saw some weird thing stream across my eyeballs. <laughs> okay, does, does his avatar look smaller than me? He's a shorty. I guess it's the same height. <laughs> Hold on. Now you're standing beside a guy in a Speedo. <laughs> Screenshot. Oh. Oh. Boop. Okay, I'll put my clothes back on. I need to change that avatar. Uh, the Speedo is funny. But now it's pretty much over abused. <laughs> That's true, Gino or Narmom. You're not short. We're we're all just tall. Yep. And there's a skin maker I, that you can do that I I use to make the speedo. And I wish I could remember the link. I had to bookmark it on my computer because otherwise I would never remember where it was at. But I enjoyed it. It was pretty decent. Uh, not hard to use. Let me phrase that. So it was actually pretty decent. For those of us that are computer challenged at times. Did I put that on the first row? Second row, second row. So let's kill these torches and see what we get for light levels over here. So I like to go full lantern in here because I think it looks better than a uh, torch light. We may have to pull these, hang these down. I think that would probably be better like we did over there. Although that's like head height. I almost should have gone one brick higher so I could hang these down on a, using the uh, poles. Words. Words are hard. Let's see what that looks like. Is it that one? Oh, the pumpkin farm, uh, DMAR, was just to get the initial set or start the initial uh, emerald process. So uh, the reality is, is I cut these down occasionally just to get some more emeralds, but it's not very productive. I don't really need it. Now it's just uh, more of a, oh, it's here. I should just leave it alone instead of, but at this point we could just, I could just tear it all up because carrots give me enough for what I need over there. But I thanks for the offer. I did see your, because I was over in your area, because uh, I kept dying and forgot to reset my spawn, so I'd have to go back over to spawn. And Saul, you're, you have a very large farm of lots of stuff. And I think it's, at one point I kept waking up in Hannah's bed because uh, I reset my spawn over there. It's not Nova Skins. It's it started with a P. I want to say. Well, here, uh, one second, and I can tell you because I have it here. Although you can't see what I'm looking at, but I can pull up the bookmarks. Give me one second. You're gonna look at my chest for a second while I pull up bookmarks. MC Skinner, I think it's called. Yeah, MC Skinner. You can uh, Google that. And I'll type it in. I'll actually type here. Let me. I can put the link in chat. It's really not hard. Oh, I don't know if I can put links in chat, even though I'm the guy that owns this chat. I can. Okay, that's where I did the, yeah. It's really, now I don't know if it will do bedrock skins or not, but it's really good on uh, Java skins. And back in the game. The hardest part was, was there's no default like skin tone. So I had a pink, was it pink? No, yellow skin because I couldn't figure out how to get the darn colors right. And then it, so it took me a while to get the colors to where I like them. Yeah, the first one I made was a very much a jaundice guy. Just, doesn't jaundice make you yellow, your skin yellow? Yeah, 
Incredibly ugly is what it looked like. Actually, it wasn't ugly horrible. It was just ugly. The Speedo looked good. And then uh, the pain ass part was the amount of time it took me to actually do the first skin and the second skin. Yeah, it was the Simpsons skin. I think I posted it on your Discord. It was pretty funny. Somebody on another Discord, because I posted it several Discords, was like, is your skin really that yellow? And that's when I realized the skin was horrible. And now it's got to move. So I'm going to have an incredible amount of torches after this. Yeah, so see, um, Stream Beats has now died. That was the last song on that. Where's my mouse? Or Spotify. So we'll play again. That's the bad part about this is it literally is like an hour long and that's it. And I don't. I have not gone out of my way to find more music and uh, what was that? Epidemic sound is really cool, except for the fact that uh, it costs money. And so I'm not even an affiliate yet. So anything out of that is coming straight out of my pocket, which is not horrible, except for the fact that I want to be cheap. I think that's center. But Epidemic sounds pretty good. Now, if I was streaming on YouTube, uh, they offer free DMCA free music, but only if you do it on YouTube itself, which in and of itself is not horrible, except uh, everybody I know that streams is over here. Uh, actually, I don't know uh, Harris Keller, but I watch his videos. He's moved from Twitch over to YouTube for streaming only. <laughs> T-Mar made it. That's hilarious. You can get some, there's a really cool blocks over here if you want to make a really cool uh, throne. Get in that chest if you want wool. And then that chest over there has uh, cool blocks. Now go up one. That chest. Or that chest. And because I haven't figured out what I'm doing in this area yet, it's probably all going to be villagers down here. This was the intent was to make a ginormous villager trading hall. Uh, so we'll probably just spam lights in here for now. Because we just need light to make it not dark. And then once I figure out, like over here is going to be fairly simple. Because I just need to make it light enough so that there's no spawning in here so we'll probably bring the now the bad part was instead of putting three between these i put two so it makes it hard to hang lights so this guy probably needs to be here that's centered i think and then here oh i've run out of, did i really well i guess it's time for more lanterns yeah See, and that's the fun of the lantern game, is I only got the two guys that give me lanterns. Which means I need more of these dudes over here. Because we're going to run out of lanterns again. This is going to be a repetitive pain. Oh, and Demar, there's a whole bunch of chests if you go up one of the, the ladders over by where the horses are that have more blocks in them. Uh, but all the good blocks are basically down here anyway. Let's see, center. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. There, not there. So after I figure out the shout out command to make it work, because Stream Elements is not being very friendly to me about that, because I've completely messed that one up. I will figure out. Well, I think Hunt figured it out by uh, me not enabling links, except from me itself. Uh, I may have to enable stream elements to do links, which I didn't even think about that. So we may be able to get that fixed at the uh, when we get done here today. Um, but I need to sit down at some point and just bang out Spotify and see if I can find a bunch of DMCA free music.
And see this, I made three wide, so it's so easy to just put those guys right down the center and everything's good to go. And then I did not include a row here, so I could probably fix that so it's more normal. <laughs> yeah. And Demar, if you run out of blocks you want to use, we have masons over there that have terracotta. Crap ton of terracotta. And then uh, actually there are iron blocks in that second chest too. Having an iron farm is actually convenient. So you can actually build with iron blocks if you want to. I don't know what that ding was. Let's see. Quack. Thank you. for. Oh, somebody followed. Fletcher 0314. It didn't come up on the thing. It was supposed to. I'm pretty sure I have the announcement screen messed up when during the gameplay. So I appreciate your following. Uh, if you don't mind telling us, how'd you find me? Because I am, uh, it's only the second stream. So the ability to find me on Twitch is probably slim. Or by accident, one of the two. That, and that was a crazy noise. Uh, I heard it on the last stream, but we had a, we also got a follower bot. So I went from like 12 to 125. Boom. And then uh, Mr. Q or Mr. Quizzling has a app on the forest dreamers well, not an app but a tool on the forest dreamers um, discord that i used to make the follow bots go away and they've got like a list of follow bots so it basically made them all disappear so i went from 100 like 125 at the end of that stream down back down to a, like a normal number so i think you're number 36 i would i want to say 30 mid 30s but anyway welcome to the stream uh this is dmar server that's dmar 06 over there He's in the chat also, so if you want to flip him some words, you can. We are on his server. Uh, we're trying to build a villager trading hall down here. So basically, I've got a bunch of villagers over there currently. I'll give you a quick tour if you're still around. Uh, we've got villagers over here, but these are the farmers. So three farm patches. They just do carrots. They feed that guy carrots. The carrots fall in here. I grab a bunch of carrots, and then we feed the dude, or we trade the guy in the middle. So these are all farmers or villagers. They're all set up to eat or to trade for carrots, which uh, doing the uh, you know rolling for professions is a pain in the rear sometimes because it took a lot. Sometimes it takes a long time for them to work. Sweet, thanks. I, I appreciate your searching and then choosing me to uh, follow. Because this is Saturday. There's literally a ton of people playing this game. Uh, let me grab some of this uh, villagers. We'll walk around. I'll show you what all my villagers do, and then we'll give you a quick tour and run around. So like I said, this is the farmer section. Uh, this was like the initial villagers that I brought down, uh, just because it's the quickest way to get um, emeralds, the fastest. And then once you've got all the emeralds, I have currently over here, I have an iron farm. I'll go show you where the iron farm is. Uh, but these guys trade iron for emeralds, and then you just trade them up. So toolsmiths, so you end up, this guy has an efficiency two diamond pickaxe. I'm not a fan of mining, so getting lots of diamonds is a pain in the rear. So all the diamond I have and wear came from my guys here. So tools, these guys are armor. Um, we're using the blocks that we get from the masons, which are on that, that row right there. So these are all from masons, except that that's semi or that smooth stone, I think is what it's called. But that we had to bake. But all these other blocks came from those dudes there for trading for emeralds. So trading emeralds is fun for me, I guess. These are wool guys. I couldn't get the right wool I wanted because there's 16 different colors and they never get you the color you want. So we ended up there's a sheep farm right here. So you can hear the sheep. They're upstairs, but they're just divvying up wool. All the walls are wool down here. I've got librarians. Uh, basically, I chose them because they give glass, lanterns, um, and then, you know, as a bonus, you can get spell books from them and then name tags. So let me get, uh, do I have it on me? I do. I will show you where the, the bre uh, actually, let's go upstairs. We'll grab a horse, finish the throne. <laughs> so Demar has chosen a, thr a throne, except uh, he didn't put any color in it. There's some purple wool over there. Purple is supposedly a uh, royal color. Um, 
let me grab my horse and we will run upstairs and I'll show you where the iron farm is. Now, Logical Geek Boy is the one that come up. I looked at his tutorial and based my farm and farmer in the middle off his tutorial um, for how to get uh, farmer villages with lots of carrots. But he also uses potatoes in there. Now, we finished the floor or the roof down there, which is the floor up here. And I'm sleeping because where we're going to go, there's going to be lots of husks. And I think I can get rid of that chest. Let me get rid of that chest. It's in the middle of nowhere. And once we spam light downstairs. Um, oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's the wall downstairs. And uh, yeah, we flooded stuff. So let me not kill a horse. Oh, right in the head, right in the head. We got to put a horse away. I have too many horses here. Uh, Demar, you're more than welcome to ride over, but I think you have wings, so. And there's another lead here. There he is. But out of the water. Up the hole, over the hill, and then we'll turn around. I'll give you a, a bird's eye view of that. I'm not that rich. You don't have wings? I thought you had wings. I thought you'd gone to the end. So, built that hole. It's a 40 by 40 square, which is what the traders or the villagers are all underneath. Then we're going to build more as I get my hands out because I talk with my hands. Uh, as I get more time, uh, we'll build more levels up. So, probably two or three levels up. Yeah. Demar is a creative guy, more so than a survival guy. So, he has a creative server that uh, I am whitelisted on, but I've only been on once. That he's got some incredible cool stuff to do. Demar also streams. Uh, He's been working on his creative world for quite a for quite a while now, but he's doing uh, basically a museum called Blue. So every blue block in the game has been added to his museum, and he's working on Blue. So here is the Iron Farm. It's another Logical Geek Boy um, tutorial that I went through. I did tweak it a little bit. Uh, what I didn't realize is when you AFK at these, your phantoms will eat all your villagers. So I put a glass house around it, basically a glass wall around. Phantoms can't get in there. So I can AFK in that building now. And let me jump off the horse here real quick. And we will go and see. I think the the village trader hall is actually close enough that this stays loaded. So that uh, it may be full. And then because we're in the desert, there are husks everywhere. Husks are probably the best one to put inside the village breeder. That way, if you screw up or mess up, and there is sunlight they'll burn regular zombies husks don't burn yeah see we got a ton of stuff in here and we get the poppies out and the cool thing about the poppies if you don't want to make a poppy farm uh you just put a oh i just lost the word anyway oh i didn't know you followed me over that's actually funny but yeah you throw this oh composter throw the throw the poppies in the composter and you end up with bone meal at the end of the day. Tons of bone meal. And then we'll go ahead and make some iron blocks to get rid of these. Just to store it out. Now there are... The system that uh, Logical Geek Boy came up with basically had one going all the way down to the bottom. I combined these so they all feed into here. So there's three double chests. So I like that system better. Um... He did uh, say his on his it was just a simple, simple, simple system, and you can tweak it however you wanted. So it works good for me. It does really well. And then when you uh, play with the villager stuff that we that I've been playing with, this gives you uh, the ability to get lots of diamonds. And we'll run over and I'll show you the village breeder. It's another logical geek boy. I'm, obviously, I'm a fanboy of that guy. He does really good tutorials of stuff. Now because we're in the desert biome. You can see where there's rain in the water. But the minute we get off of here, the rain will have stopped. You'll still be able to hear it. Because rain doesn't happen in a desert biome. So you can hear, hear the rain. You can see it right over there. It isn't over here. The first time that happened, I'm like, where's my, where's my water? Why is the water not working? Oh, he didn't bring a horse over. He's just running. So... To get those guys over here, I brought the, the rail carts and stuff along. Uh, that was bad. 
Oh, somebody just made an Enderman man. So I'm going to go over here and watch and laugh while he uh, hides. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's going to shoot the guy. You know what? This might be fun. Let's go kill an Enderman. Too late. He got him first. Okay. <laughs> and I learned uh, there's a guy named Matt Ranger. Mr. Matt Ranger, he streams. He taught me that if you make the Enderman mad at you, if you'll stare him in the eyes, they won't run at you completely, and you can go get in cover so that you have the ability to beat them up. Now, that fun dude there came over and was beating me up, so I put him in a boat, and we got his crossbow to break. That's the cool part. Now I'll have a pet pillager. Uh, they won't. Do, they can't do anything because once their crossbow breaks, it's a done deal. Now, uh, skeletons seem to have infinite infinity and mending on their bows, so you can't make them go away. So yeah, so yeah, pet. We have a pet. I found a stronghold, so I want a pet with a banner. So at some point we'll do that. But anyway, this is the the village breeder that's uh, based off a of logical geek boy. So there's actually a baby right there. Now I have trouble with. <laughs> that's funny. Row, row, row your boat. Let me show you what I have issues with his, <clears throat> that I've had trouble with the Logical Geek Boy version of the Village Breeder, and what I did to fix it. I could never get the babies. The babies are supposed to stay, let me come up here, <clears throat> are supposed to stay there, and then there's supposed to be where I put a, I put a stair in. There's supposed to be a stone wall, which gets them up high enough, and then there's a water source here. They grow up, hit the water source, and then pump themselves into there. Um, I was having them grow up, and then because of the way Minecraft works, they would end up embedding themselves. Well, you can see where the sand is. That used to be glass, or they would embed themselves in that rock, or the, there, and then die. And then I would, or I'd end up with like five or six babies, and then five or six villagers, full-grown villagers. And because they're competing for the same space, nobody would ever go up here. So I had to kill the stone, uh, the stone wall down there, and put a stair in, and now. They end up growing up up there. But in the process of figuring all that out, and where he uses four beds, I use one, two, what, six beds. And then I have a villager right there. Feel free to do it, uh, Demar. Just don't... Uh, where are you? Are you taking the pet? Where did you take the pet? <laughs> okay. And... And it's still raining, but if you'll notice, we're still in the desert, rains over there in the savannah. Now, what's great about acacia? Acacia and purpur are probably my favorite uh, blocks. Uh, I haven't been to the inn, so I don't have any coarse fruit, so I can't make purpur. But I brought acacia over to the desert. The desert and acacia are made for each other. It's amazing. The uh, Acacia is a hard block to use in other biomes. It works great in the desert, and, and it's kind of meh over there in the savannah. But that orange off the desert blocks is really cool. Uh, and Fletcher, if you stick around a little bit longer, that's pretty much the tour here. I can throw some shaders on, some different shaders. I'm, I use custom, what's it called? Okay, I'm a horrible person, and there we go. We are currently using, where's it at? Shaders. Complementary shaders, which is a version of BSL shaders. Complementary shaders, though, has its own resource pack, which you throw it in here, and that's where you get all this cool stuff. Acacia looks well with the blue wood as well. Yeah, and I have been to the nether, and I could get the red wood. I haven't found the blue wood forest. And then this doesn't normally... You have to have dirt for trees to grow, so I had to import dirt. But you can't see it, so it looks like it's growing in the desert, so it's really nice. And then there's holes everywhere. Let's see. That's pretty much all I've built here. Uh, this is the entry or a start of my building process was to get villagers because, like I said, I don't like mining. Why did I do that? I don't like mining, so it's not any fun for me to continuously bang and get diamonds down there where I can uh, put villagers together, get my diamonds, get my emeralds, and pretty much anything I want or need, I can usually get from there. Whether it's from the masons where I can get quartz blocks or pillars. Um, and then... You use their block to, uh, you know, the only thing I don't, can't really get from villagers is, uh, I have yet to figure out. But I know there's got to be something that I can't get from a villager. 
Oh, gold. I need a gold farm because I can't make my rail any longer than it is now because I ran out of gold to make the rails. And I wanted to, and currently we're at like 2,500, I think it is. Oh, 16, 1660, 74, uh, 0000 is where spawn is. I was kind of wanting to get a, a rail car to go to spawn. How the heck did you get him up there? I can't make the things go up, up the hill. That's why he was stuck down there. Oh, you cheated. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but the pet is cool because uh, he, since he doesn't have a crossbow, he can't kill us. And he just aimlessly wanders. So now I, that's cool. Now, villagers are kind of cool in the aspect of uh, you can tease them to make them go where you want to go. Uh, if it's nighttime, you can throw a bed out. They'll run to the bed, and then you break the bed, move it, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 blocks, and then put it down, and they'll run to the bed. Hold on a second. <coughs> Sorry about that. I probably blew somebody's ears out because uh, the cough came. Let me go turn off the lights. Or put the lights back on. <laughs> yep. And so these guys here... Uh, they don't like to get in mine carts. I can't. I don't have any trouble getting them in boats, but getting them in mine carts is a pain. We are high. Where's he at? Yep. And I want to leave that horse over there since I have an extra horse over at the other one. <laughs> yeah. But I have a ton of shields. Uh, it took I think it was four shields for that guy's. Um, God, he's loud. For that guy's uh, crossbow to break, so he would turn into a pet. And then I'm not sure why, why I have a bed sitting over here. But we're going to go grab some more uh, emeralds. Okay, I'll see you in a, in a little bit there. Oh, you, oh, did you name Did you name him? There's, I have name tags if you want to name him. I think I named him already, but you're more than welcome to change his name. I think, he, I, think I named him Chad. Did you Did you name him? We can get a name tag. Yeah, because naming the pet is more fun than uh, I think I called him Chad literally, so I because I, I was afraid he would uh, despawn. We'll name him Friend. Yeah, I think I named him Fred. I can't. I named somebody Chad. Oh, I think I named the husk Chad because he's over there uh, making the mine go. Do I have twenty? I do. Let's go change his name to friend. There we go, Anvil. Actually, where are you? Hold on a second. Let's go back to the chat. Yeah, friend. When I first started playing Minecraft, I did a crud, a bunch of fishing is usually how I get my first saddle. And then once I got the saddle, then I can go places. Here, go name him. <laughs> Are you changing the name? <laughs> yeah. And a throne. That's some funny. Let's see. What was I doing? What were we doing? Now I'm confused. I have confused myself. See, squirrel. I get. I get. Uh, it's hard to finish projects because I'm like, oh, I should do this. Oh, I need to do this now. And now I don't remember what we were doing. Oh, I know what it was. I need to get some of those pillars, and we'll start on the upstairs to figure out. Oh, I guess I should eat. Yeah, and because I was fishing a lot, I still have a crud, uh, a ton of, um, wow, it's dark right there, a ton of fish. 
So I haven't started buying the golden carrots that uh, I have access to. At some point we will. We don't need the block of iron. White wool. If I could actually push the buttons, everything would be good to go. You know, you know, let me get rid of this junk I got in my, my inventory. And then I think we'll start on the... Uh, why is that? Oh, I got the enderpearl. Okay, I have no space. There we go. Enderpearl, don't need that on me. That goes over there. Oh, and I got a ton of carrots. Let's go get rid of the carrots real quick. Yeah, and if you constantly trade with the farmer, uh, everything gets cheaper. And then it's hard to, to actually rack him out so that he doesn't have anything. But everything stays cheap if you continue trading with him. Now, there's a way to do the whole villager, let's get ate by a uh, zombie thing and then cure him and heal him. But I don't have access to potions right now. So not having access to potions makes it kind of a pain. Let's see, we want a quartz pillar. And then we are going to have to go over and get sandstone here in a minute. And I think I want that for some of the floor. Yeah, I've got a bunch of red sandstone over at the other place that I started. I was going to build way, way over that way, I think it was. It's, well, it's not relatively close, like 150 blocks that way. Uh, and so I've got cows and a, a farm set up over there. And then um, I started building in the desert for the village breeder because it was the closest village I could find. And so I built a breeder over there. And then I kind of had fun with the acacia. And then again, I forgot what we were doing. Because I'm, oh, that's right, we're building a, we're going to build the door upstairs and see if we can figure this stuff out. And like I said, where I planned on building the door is now a sheep farm that I don't really want to tear it down. So we may go up here or maybe here for the entry level, entryway into here. I don't know. We're going to ad lib a little bit here. And then all this junk needs to go away. It's in the way now. Crap. Which was the original intent was to put the door over here, which is why all the storage chests are over there in the way now. But these little woolly boogers are now in the way, and they're such a pain to move. So, did they look cuter without wool on or not? I think they look better without the wool on. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so we'll start over here. I just got to move all that stuff out of the uh, chests, which makes it kind of a pain. And I kind of want that ink. Give me the ink. Where'd you go? Oh, I got the ink. Okay. So it actually makes it better because uh, the stupid squids pop up over here now. That's cool. Um, anyway, let's move stuff from... It's all dirt stuff. Yeah, I just need those chests moved. It's got less stuff in it. That one. So we'll move the sand first so I can sort of semi-organize this. I am bad with uh, disorganization. What was that? I need that. Sun... Yeah, and see, that's another, like I said earlier, it's the bad part about sitting here is those hills make it dark quick. Oh, look at that. Oh, you died. <laughs> Fell from a high place. <laughs> Oops, I didn't even notice you died. I'm sorry. You want a chest? Oh, I need that back. I keep moving the pillars. Do you have any armor on at all? Because uh, there's a ton of emeralds down there. You could grab me some diamond armor if you wanted. Uh, 
stays. Oh, there's a ton of armor. Yeah, there's villagers down there. You can get you a whole set of a whole stack of stuff. I mean, you may have to trade for some stuff. I think. Uh, oh, the emeralds are on me. Where'd you go? Oh, you're down there. Let me bring you some emeralds. Yeah, you're gonna have to end up trading. Uh, go grab the iron out of the iron box, and you can rack up some emeralds. But here's some right now. Did I get them? You got them. Yeah. And then there's emeralds straight ahead in that middle box. Or not emeralds, but uh, iron blocks. And you can grab whatever you need from these guys. But literally, that's the only thing they're used for now. And then over here is a whole blocks, blocks of iron that you can convert into emeralds. Oh, where'd you go? Or you can go through the, the farmer system and grab the carrots and, uh, and stuff. Yeah. Now, they'll give you your tools. Yeah, yeah, the armor's over there. You have to go through and see which armor you think is the best. So, Yeah, and see, it looks dark enough. There's stars out. Oh, and that was one of the villa, vanilla tweaks that I have going on, is making... If I can get out of this hole... The sun circular and the moon round, which is probably one of the coolest vanilla tweaks that's out there. I mean, vanilla tweaks has a ton of cool tweaks, but this is probably one of my favorites just because it doesn't really affect any kind of gameplay, but it just looks cool. A circle sun instead of a square sun. And if you play on a server, the server admin can add that to the server itself, or you can do what I did, and I just added it to my uh, my shader packs or data packs. And then now it's dark. Do, 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 do. We need to uh, make it not be dark. Yeah, Demar, I didn't realize you weren't uh, running around in uh, in armor and tools, so. <laughs> well, you have a room over in your in your big. Now, what we need to do? Let me get my horse, and uh, we're gonna go show you Demar spot, cause it's actually really cool. And I know we didn't tour it last time we were on here. Who built it? Cause it, I thought that was your house with uh, Hannah's Hannah's room and all those rooms. And I don't like falling in holes, so I usually ride my horse around like this if I know, if I'm not 100% sure where everything is. Oh, well, grab, grab a horse and go show me your stuff. Yeah, that's the, that's the house I saw, because you had like three houses or three rooms built. One was for Hannah. I'm pretty sure that was your house I saw. It's uh, in a hobbit. It's like a hobbit hole. And then inside or on top is like your farms. Oh, there's the village breeder. So we want to go this way because I have a, I have a bridge over here. And I like riding around on horses. So usually when I'm running around exploring, which I think I built that hole by accident, I build bridges everywhere, and not good bridges, just bridges. And we fill in the hole. I did build that hole because I needed to get those villagers from this side to that side and the river didn't go around. Doggone it. There we go. Boop. And there's a village over here, but I completely ripped everything out of the village. I think there's still some... Uh... Yeah, and I didn't think about that, Normal. If you can see their full skin, so... And I'm used to seeing his full skin because he plays on his creative world. You don't need that. So yeah, this village over here still has villagers in it, but they literally don't have anything to go on because I took all their job blocks. I took the uh, uh, the bell. I took all their beds. So they just kind of hang out over here. They got their own sheep. They got some torches left. I didn't steal all the torches. But that's where I got my village breeder. And because I got Savannah villagers 
and they breed in the desert, I get a mix of savanna and uh, desert villagers for the trading hall, which I like both versions, so it's really cool. Yeah, yeah, all my bridges are like that. And at some point, I had planned on coming back and building real bridges, and we put quote marks, planned on building real bridges that looked good. And see, we're right by a stronghold, so at some point, I can come over here and grab me a, uh, a friend, a pet, with a banner on his head. The, the funniest part is I didn't know this was even over here for the longest time. And I know we're going to fall off the horse in a second because he will not allow me to swim on him. And a five. Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah. And this is how you get across if uh, you don't have bridges. You push the little guy till he gets uh, out of the water. Yeah. If you do things horribly to the guy, he will drown. So you need to get him out of the water. Once he's out of the water, everything's better. Actually, we need it on that side anyway. So we'll push him that direction. And he will potentially get up on that side. Which is why building bridges is so much better. Because you don't have to do this every time you cross. But I fill in the water. Uh, anything over... I think it's too deep. Once you get too deep, the, they'll only go a short distance and then they're done. They will literally do what they did to me here, which is make me fall off. Boom. Yeah, but Stronghold. I think I ran by this thing like I don't know how many times and never noticed that that was there. Oh, see, they have found me. And then we'll run this way. But the cool part about that is is they fall in boats regular. So if you build a whole bunch of boats up, you can get the, the little guys to fall in their boats and then they'll hang out with you. Now, how did I get across this one? It had to be over here. There's got to be a shortcut over here somewhere. Because there's no way that I went the other direction. Okay, I don't know how I crossed here. I didn't build a bridge. Okay, oh, there it is. This one I built underwater because I'm not a bright man sometimes. So I'm not sure why I put this one under the water. But yeah, but you would think I could see the stronghold over there when I was building this bridge to get my horse across. And the rabbits, where they're fun to chase and uh, get their heads and their skins, they really don't uh, give you a lot of food. So the rabbits in the desert are as bad as the rabbits in the winter areas. Although the rabbits in the winter areas have the red eyeballs, so they look evil and wicked. And we're going to fall in a hole, so I need to do that. 282... I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, that's getting bigger. We need to go that way. Because I think that's the way I went. And I don't feel like killing myself just to go to spawn. But we'll show you his hobbit house. He probably beat me there. Oh, oh, gee. Ouch. And there are faster horses. This one just has a quite a ton of hearts but I was having a hard time finding a fast horse and where I originally set up base there were a, a very minute amount of horses to choose from very very tiny amount let's see hole I know I came across here somewhere there we go and then sometimes uh, Minecraft generation makes you a great place to cross over so having a ford right there is pretty decent and then here see a lot of desert in this this world and then when we get over by spawn there's a just a huge mesa area area learned a our mom learned a cool trick from snorty buzzard that you have a pillager or villager in a boat you can use a lead to make the boat bounce upward by pillaring up I tried to put a lead on a boat, and I never could get it to fix. So is that a bed, uh, bedrock thing and not a Java thing? Because I never tried it in bedrock. But I had heard about it, and I literally couldn't get the, the lead to hook onto the boat. Piggies! Let's see. Where are we at? Wow, where the hell are we going? That is definitely the wrong way. 905 is a, a long way from where it needs to be. 
And again, we went the wrong way. Okay, what am I doing? That way. That way. Oh, and it's super distracting to have F3 up. There is a... Grab yeah, snacks. Okay. So I've obviously... I think I've been here. Because... Well, I don't know. This may be a new village. I can't remember if I've found this village or not. Oh, there's a ton of villagers here. Uh, this is definitely a new village that I've never found before because it has a bell. And I usually steal the bells when I find. After, that was like the usually the last thing I steal from a village is its bell so I can remember that I went through all the chests. But we don't need diamonds. Oh, and it might have been Bedrock because when I first started playing, it was Bedrock. And I think everybody was doing that. And then um, I get into Java. And uh, I just find Java a little bit more in entertaining or enjoyable than Bedrock. Not that I won't play Bedrock. It just, Java just seems, it has more functionality. Now, as we get along in the game, like uh, 117 is supposed to drop the same time for Bedrock and Java. And then 118, uh, the, the two different um, styles of Minecraft are supposedly getting closer and closer to being very similar. Ooh, we were dancing that horse. So we'll see. Someday they may just be the same and not be the difference. Because Mojang has decided we should all have Microsoft, uh, was it Microsoft at bottom? Accounts to play either either one of them. And I had taken a break from Minecraft when they were in the process of swapping all that junk over. And uh, I tried to log on to Minecraft. I'm like, why is my account not working? This is killing me. So I literally had, I had to go Google and let Google tell me that I was a dummy. And I needed to do it the right way. And so a lot of savannas, a lot of desert. And when we get over here, it'll be a lot of mesa. So not a lot of plains. Which most of the worlds that uh, I seem to generate, very, very little mesas, very little desert, and very little savannas. Or they're so far away that you don't actually see anything. Uh-oh. You know what I forgot to do? Bring a bed. So this may get turned into a complete pain in the rear as I'm dodging zombies and holes. There's zombies. Oh, I did a screenshot. I'm so good at this game. Anyway, now we are exploring, and that wasn't the intent. See, squirrel, I'll never finish any builds because I literally want to go play at different places. See, and there's some spruce forest over here, which I don't remember if I have any spruce or not. Jungle. I couldn't find jungle, so I had to cut down one of DMAR's trees and plant it back. And that's how I got bamboo, and that's how I got cocoa beans. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, look, there's a light. So uh, somebody's been here, whether it's me or him. Because he did a lot of exploring when he first started. Oh, there's more light over here. And I don't remember lighting my path with... Oh, that's lava. That's not light. Yeah, I don't think DMR know I, I tore up one of these trees to get... Oh, there we go. See, drinked. That way. Yeah, I think that's the right direction now. So we're getting closer. Uh-oh. See? Flames. Lots of flames. See? And the river makes it such a pain in the rear. To get anywhere you want to go. Um... I may not have a bridge. Cause I don't think we're back anywhere I was, and I didn't bring any blocks, so getting a bridge across may be a pain. Oh, go up, go up. There we go. Go up, 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 up. Yeah, falling off the horse is a pain in the rear. Oh, and I'm in a hole. That's awesome. Let's see. Get rid of the five. Down four. And horses like to block. If my shovel would quit doing things. No. Come back here. There we go. Oh, shoot a monkey. It is not a good place. Uh, yeah. Those big dark oak forces are almost impossible to ride a horse through. So we have to go around. Uh, even if I got on top, it would be a pain. I think we're getting close, though. 
Let's see, F3. Actually, we can further away. <laughs> but there's a mesa. A start of one. We need to go back this way and go around the forest the other direction. I just want to show you that house he built in the... the it's a ginormous uh, farm that he has put together. Oh, shoot. How do we get back across this stupid thing? Let's see. Should be able to do that. And... No, 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 no. I don't know. Um, there were a bunch of torches that went to it. Was that not the one you built? It was like a hobbit hole, literally in the side of a hill. Can't get across that one. Oh, somebody's bridge. I didn't build that. Yeah, there's torches over to like a hobbit hole. And on top of the hobbit hole is this massive farm. So Demar's chatting with me in the chat window. Um, I don't know whose this place is. But now we're close to where all the other people that built... I built way a long ways away because I was building stuff that could potentially lag the server. So I didn't want to be the guy that uh, made everybody break up. Look up. That's a horse belly. What am I looking up for? Oh, why is there a pillar of dirt? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's the torches. Are you on top of the pillar of dirt? Are you doing the bucket trick? Do we get to watch you die? Or did you fly over here? Oh, goodness. Okay, I thought he saw somebody fall over here. See lily pants? Anyway, this is some of the other people that work. Now, I couldn't figure out how to get in this building, but I didn't have my horse with me at the time. So I think you actually need to uh, stack yourself up to get in that door. Or you're going to need... Um... Oh, this is your house here? The one with no way to get in? Yep. Oh, is that what you were talking about the other day? Somebody burned up a bunch of your stuff? Was that the guy that was on your stream begging to get back in the server? Said he would he would be nice or something like that? <laughs> oh, there he is. Boop. Yeah, and then there was a big old house over here. This is a see. This is a kind of a cool modern house. It's just different enough that you know, I haven't seen that style carried out quite this way um i mean i think it uh existential crisis big words dude <laughs> built the house you're in now or this one over here this modern style i like it i think it needs more decoration on that part of the building it just make it pop a little better and then if i can find a fence i'll drop the horse See a ton of torches. Holes in the ground. My humble boat. So did you build ball this over here? Is this all of your builds? And my rude roommate. You have a roommate over here? Okay, you got a fence post? Is your roommate made the one making all the noises? There, stay horse. Do you get a zombie in here? Oh, you do have a zombie in here. Oh, you gave him a weapon.
Uh oh, magic books. Scary threats. Oh, it's not even a magic book. It's just a book he wrote in. Okay. Why'd you put a zombie in your house? That's funny. Is he even name tagged? Oh, he's not. But he picked up a tool so he didn't disappear. That's cool. No hit of me. Oh, hold on. What is that? Oh, that's the picture. Oh! So somebody dropped him off or you put him in a boat? Anyway. Let me grab the horse and we'll go to the other end of the torch. The torch spam. That's funny. Why do I have dirt? Where did I get all this dirt? Did you throw dirt at me? So we'll go to the end of the torch and then we'll go look at the other house that I thought was yours, but is obviously not yours. See, I'm not sure what this is about. I'm pretty sure that there's potentially somebody inside that, but I'm not 100% sure. Because that is something we did when I was on the playground. I think we did it there. But people would use on it, or, uh, obsidian blocks, so you were kind of hosed, or potentially hosed, by not being able to get out if you didn't have a pick that would allow you to get out. Yeah, see, the bad part about having a horse and trees is that. Oh, this is my first build. So spawn is right here. The bad thing about servers and spawn, completely honest, this server kind of fell apart after the griefers. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so the bad part about spawn is I didn't have the commands to do certain things. So I could build this stupid house, but watch the door. I can't go in there because the door opens halfway. And then it stuck. And the, that chest won't open up. You can try to open it all day. It won't. But it's got something to do with spawn and me not having certain rights. Uh, according to Google. So that works for Demar, And that was my first house I built. And then it was like, yeah, we'll let you build it. But you can't live in it. Because spawn is here. This is spawn. And because it's in the spawn area, that wheat, useless. Because you can't plant there. For some reason, I got away with planting the first part. And then it wouldn't let me do anything after that. So I don't know if there was an update or or what. Um, but me and Demar were probably the first ones on. That temple, I got it all. All me. And then I'm not sure what they built here because that's some kind of crazy thing. Uh, where did the torches go? There they are. But this other build, whoever built this, I think he said Hannah built it, is pretty cool if I can get through the trees without dying. And then the torch spam, it was just... Um, I logged on. I took a several month break. Uh, Valheim came out and some other video games. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to play those for a while. And then I came back and started building. Yeah. And so this is actually really cool. Uh, I mean, it's a hobbit hole, but it's a hobbit hole. But it's a really cool hobbit hole. And I think I did that by putting a bed there. So uh, if Hannah's watching, uh, sorry, I broke your dirt. And I have to find a place to put the horse. I guess we'll put the horse inside. So, horse no pooping. No pooping in the house. And it won't let me through the glass. There we go. Boom. Oh, buttons. Too many buttons. I mean, the house has really good bones. Uh, big storage area with nothing, very limited stuff in it. So I went through and looked at all the stuff to see what was around. Because I thought this was Demar's. And he's making he's making the day go away or the night go away, but the glass she the, the Optify makes the glass look really cool and I didn't you know and I'd never thought of doing a a wall of glass like this with a door inset in the middle of it because I always assumed it would do that it wouldn't do anything so it would leave a hole and then over here they really built it up nice it's not not the the decorations are you know pretty much standard decorations but. They're not. They're done pretty nicely. Although I don't know whose head is that. <laughs> now there's a texture pack that I've downloaded. That let me see if it works in here because uh, I haven't done any pictures. So this resource pack 
It's supposed to make pictures. Cool. So we'll see what it does. Maybe it, it will. Yep. Yeah, it broke. It broke it. Mojang says no. You've got to start over, which is fine. Let's see what it looks like. See, HD pictures. So that picture is. Oh, I got errors, but who cares? But look at that picture. That is so much. Look at that sucker right there. They made HD pictures. That's all it does is change the pictures. So if you've never used resource packs, which I think the majority of us have used those, in your resource packs, whatever's on the top uh, trumps whatever's on the bottom. So if they've got pictures uh, in there. This one will take the place of what they have in those two packs there. And we'll put it back to like it was. Actually, I don't know why I don't have it in here. But uh, yeah, we had to start over. But see the difference? That picture looks much better in HD. See, they did the whole kitchen sink thing. Oh, we didn't look at that picture. I'm tempted to put that uh, resource pack back on. Anyway. Now, they didn't do a whole lot of decoration in here. So whatever that is. Oh, Demar's in the, he's in the glass room. So... They need a little bit more texture in there. How do you get in there? How did he get in there? Where's the door? Oh, they're swimming. Oh, you cheaters. They did the trick that I have never thought about doing, but I've seen done. Come on, is there a door in here? How did you get in here? Dude, you're killing me. Is there a door back here? Okay, there he is. So there's a door here. I just didn't go in. How did you get it? No, okay, I'm not. It's not working for me. Oh, there it is. How did I get? Okay, that's crazy. Oh, there's actually is a door. Okay. Ah, see, I was hoping they had. Uh, I can't remember the name of that. There's a thing that allows you to breathe in water that you can create, but I think you need ender rods for it. conduit yeah that's what it was yeah so that would be cool with a conduit and the secret passages that's kind of cool yeah but hannah built all this this was kind of oh i should have put the dang pack on because i'd like to see what that picture actually looks like but the reality is i have a pretty beefy computer so it'll actually run the desktop will uh, my laptop wouldn't do any of this junk uh we'd, we'd be lagged out just on that and I've seen Hey MC. I think he's logged on recently. Yeah, so he's got people's names for their rooms. Oh, that's Greta's room. Okay. Yeah. And I know I've been in Hannah's room. I had to borrow her bed one time because I, I broke my bed, died, and then spawned way over here and had to get back to where I belonged. And then up here is a big old hole in the ground with glass but there's a she built a pretty cool garden i mean it's just edible fruit so it's not a flower garden oh and i borrowed those carrots because i needed food to travel back to my house and so that's about it. I don't really have a whole lot going on. Um, we see who we can raid out to. I don't know who's here. And uh, I'm not a very good at raiding. So this may be a uh, cluster mess of, oh my God, how do I get out of this thing without killing the stream? So let me get to the just chatting window. And where is it at? Why is this not working? So many softwares. We'll go to just chatting and then I will figure out how to raid somebody. As I look at my face, let's see who's on. Channels I follow. Oh, Bidlaw's on. We'll, we'll go to Bidlaw. Bid of the law. So he does a thing called Fine Fine Day where he'll run around saying Fine Fine Day, but he's British. So it's actually really amusing and anecdotal. Um, I'm going to try to do the raid thing. If I do it right, cool hopefully i do it right i would appreciate if you join me in the raid yep quack raid there you go got that right 
we will join Bidlaw over there if I do this correctly. And I probably won't because uh, we will start the raid. Um, I've only, yeah, never done it once. So I'll probably be talking when it goes. Raid now. Two viewers are ready to raid Bidlaw. Why is that not going to say raid now? Close pop out. Oh, there we go. So we're going to take off. Uh, hopefully I'm not talking when I push the button. Anyway, it was fun. Y'all have a good day. We died all. Oh. How was your stream, my dude? Let me just. What was? How was your stream? Oh, it went well. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, Dima06 into chat. Welcome, Narmam into chat. Um, I saw you live earlier. Um, I popped in for a sec. Couldn't chat though. I looked for a bit. How was it? How was your stream, Julius? What'd you get done? Yeah, yeah. Um, give me a sec. Yeah, give me a sec, Touche. Let me talk. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Julius. Go give the love of the herd to Julius Darkwing Duck. Oh, Dima. I've not heard of Dima. I'm assuming that's Dima or a section chat. I haven't heard of him. Whoa, welcome into chat. Open door. Whoa. Well, we died not long ago. Um, I'm going to send the clip quickly. Of me dying in my hardcore. There we go. Let me make a command of exclamation mark death one. Right. Let me make a quick command. Alright. <laughs> Got a little bit of burning, then that went completely off switch. <laughs> no, that sounds good, that sounds good. You know, I quite like. Oh, forest fire. Okay. I quite like the area actually we're in. But yes, thank you for the raid, Julius. Thank you for sending your ducks over here. Yeah, I popped in for a bit. It seemed like you were doing well. Alright, so I think... Oh, I am a duck. My skin's a duck, but I'm based off elephants. There's no good Minecraft elephant skins. If you find a good Minecraft elephant skin, I'll take it. I don't have a good Minecraft elephant skin. Okay. Noodles, boys. Go have them noodles. Nah, mom, thank you for the follow. Uh, alerts aren't working the best today. And yep. Oh, hello, yeah! <laughs> I'm a doctor doing a speedo. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Okay. I'm still uh, from the death. It was such a good world. I loved it. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. But we live on. What type of base do you guys want me to make for those in chat? Hmm. Um, I'm gonna kill some pigs. I hear dogs barking. Hello. They're not my dogs. 
be something they are. It could be. Alright, I will put up a pole in a sec. Underwater. <sighs> so much room for underwater here, is there? <laughs> I like the idea, but for the for a little starter base. Um, I think I'll do a little pole. Or a main base, because I want you guys to have a decision in this. Um, because I I do a lot of medieval and I want to challenge myself. Because I did have a bit of a plan for my old world, but I think I might...